Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dork's Dally. The sword is here. Dork's Dally. Here it is. Here it comes. Coming right at you. Good morning. This is waking up just after the Eagles blew the game to the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, don't talk about it. No, I want to talk about it. I want to talk about the Falcons ain't even a real bird. How do you lose to a team? How are you an Eagle and you lose to a Falcon? I mean, it's like growing up when we used to lose to the Cardinals all the time. I used to say, like, how can a, a f Eagle lose to a Cardinal? Well, now we lost sure. to a Falcon. I think a Falcon's, sure. I've never even seen a Falcon. I don't know what a Falcon looks like. I don't even know if Falcons fans know if Falcon's real or not, honestly. <laughs> Check in if you're a Falcons fan. Let us know if it's real. Oh, my God. And I'm pretty sure you're finding out this morning that your team won. Because I know all you, none of you were watching the end of that game last night. Right after uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson laid out uh, uh, the running back, everyone went to bed. So don't pretend that you woke up, that you watched the rest of it last night like a fighting Falcon fan. Because if you're a Falcons fan, you're most likely a Georgia Bulldog fan, which tells me that you can't, it must be rough. I mean, to watch the Falcons play has to be tough if you're a Georgia Bulldogs fan because you watch a team every week in and week out dominate every single team. And then you've got to put the Falcons on and watch um, Kirk. Kirk Cousins. You know what I think would be a cool thing? Side note. I know they would never do this, but wouldn't this be like this? If the hometowns went with like majority of the hometown's college players, like the hometown NFL team or state, whatever. Well, the Falcons, they managed to pass up on all their players. That's why, why we got Jalen Carter. That's why, I don't know. Even I mean, it's Kobe good for us. Started. I'm just saying in general, like what if they did that? Like, So we would have all Temple Owls. Well, state and No, and I hear what you're state, saying. Yeah, like all like, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Eastern PA, yeah. Western PA. Go. See, the it's state, not fair like you, because. If you go to a college in a state, that's the NFL team for your state that you're going to. It's not fair, though, for. because. Like, say teams like, like Georgia, like the Falcons are the only team in Georgia, right? So that means all whole state of Georgia goes to the Falcons. Well, Pennsylvania is not. We'd have to get like Jersey too. Yeah, but maybe that could. But um, it's not fair because the Jets and the Giants are in no, Jersey. No, they could get that then. They could get Jersey. But maybe that would promote hometown schools more because of that. Oh, yeah, you know like I mean? if you did. Like, yeah, I because guess. Because then all these kids wouldn't just be going to these big schools like Ohio and yeah. all those schools, um, Georgia. It would just, like, build, like, um, local morale more for the teams. You know how a lot of teams struggle with that? They don't have, like, a great fan base. Yeah, nobody, you know I mean? no, here's the because, problem yeah, If you, ha the feeder for your NFL teams were yeah. your state colleges, I think that would, like, I, I think that would be good. Well, now that we moved down south, we've realized a lot of people down here root for college. They don't really care about the pros as much. Like, the pros is their second team, where for us up north, yeah. pros is our first, college is our second. Um, I just think it would be cool. I don't know. Oh, and if anybody wants to laugh at me from Atlanta about the game last night, the Phillies are up nine games right now. I think our magic number is four. So, what's your magic number? All right, guys. 14? Listen. listen. All right. So we're done with our sports recap yeah, for the morning. Yeah, that suck. We are in Cozumel. Okay, guys? We are. We don't know which port we're at in Cozumel. There's two. We don't know. So after we talk to you, we're going to go walk around, go to the buffet, and see where we're at. Because I can't tell. Yeah. We have a beautiful view, but I can't really tell where we're at. So we don't know what we're doing today. We're going to do something. So we decided to come talk to you early because God knows what we're going to be like later. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. That's right. But anyway, guys, let's talk about what's going on. The Carnival Vista um, resumed operations. They left the same day we left. They left on Sunday. Right. So they did leave. So they did get repaired. Remember, they were they canceled that cruise to repair. And they, they the Vista didn't miss any more time, so I was So, wrong. yeah, they're back at it. They're yeah. out here. They're in the Eastern Caribbean. Good job. So maybe we'll see them. Like they in might passing. today. I don't think they're in the ports we're going, so I'm not sure, but we might see them out there. They right? might get um, they might get tugboated in here today. They might. You never know. You never know. And guys, the maiden uh, season has been revealed for the Disney Destiny, so you can book those uh, cruises now. Um, yeah, and for, one of uh, our customers already booked one. The Destiny, yeah. So the November twentieth, twenty twenty five sailing will be from uh, Port Everglades, so it's going to be leaving from Fort Lauderdale. But yeah, Disney Destiny, you can get on there. And Michelle it. called it. She said Dan would get 
a, um, a chance to book. We didn't know what Dan's status was. Yes, our he customer. He's a big Disney cruise guy. At least did 10 of them. Uh huh. That's pretty cool, though, if you like Disney. You know what's funny? We would do good with Disney because we don't gamble. So Disney would be fine for us. I would be fine with it. We would have already done Disney if it wasn't so, like, expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much money. <laughs> I mean, Disney is a lot. Well, you got to remember, they got to <laughs> consider you putting out, like, $1,500 at the casino. They just add that on to the price. Yeah, right? Um, yeah, you're paying for any casino offer. Yeah. I don't even know if Disney does that for cruises for casino people. Well, they don't have casinos. Oh, God. Right? <laughs> Well, then I guess they definitely yeah, There's don't. nothing, there's no way to push other than kids yeah, no. and, yeah. Well, the main, I think Disney's main selling feature is that it's Disney. Disney. Yeah. So people are Disney buffs, just like there's... I still can't believe, yeah. like, um, what's the other crew place, the other park? Why didn't they ever come out with a cruise line? What? The uh, Universal. I don't know, I guess that's not their focus. Yeah, no. Uh, no. They don't focus on travel industry and their brand. No. Anyway, guys, what else do we got? What else do we got? Oh, Norwegian. Okay, Norwegian Cruise Line announced um, a new uh, uh, entertainment lineup for their new ship, the Norwegian Aqua, which is going to debut in April 2025. Okay. Um, they're going to have a, a Prince uh, show. It's called Revolution. Yes, I heard. So it's going to be heard all that. like Prince songs yeah. and all that, which is different. Um, but guess what else, guys? They're kind of like biting off of celebrity. It's even the same name of the show. Yeah. Elements is going to be a new show, which is the same show we have on here, which they actually had last night that we did not go to. Yeah. But Elements, it's uh, as it's going to be called The World Expanded. Elements, The World Expanded okay. is the name. Yeah, well, here's also, my thing. Also, there's could... going to be... Um, Oops. Um, what? Who's doing Elements? I just told you. Norwegian we're talking about. Well, wait a minute. Why would they... I mean, They're copying. They... I just said it. They're right. writing. Well, hold on a minute. <laughs> Don't they see that Celebrity has a show called Elements? Why don't they just change? Why does that have to be Elements? I don't know. There, there, there's, a, there's like a shortage of words? Yeah, guys. You could have thought of a different word like... Um, uh, anything. I don't know. Weather. It's like, how do they... Elements. I mean, I like the show Elements, but I still think that Yeah, but that you don't show... copy of another cruise line. Regardless if you like it or not, you just gotta take something else. Like the cruise names, like yeah. they're acting like they're running. Like, remember, was there like a battle like over two ships that were gonna be like both the sun something? No, we were talking about the oh, star. Oh, we talked about it. That's yeah, right, no one star. else did. That was oh, just okay. us. Also gonna have a uh, Fleetwood Mac tribute. I like that. Which I like. That would actually be good. So that'd be pretty cool. But the Prince one, dude, that's good. Yeah, yeah the that. Prince one's pretty good. I mean, yeah, something different. Probably cost a couple bucks getting them songs. Yeah, right? But something different. I don't know. I wonder who controls cool. Prince's music now. I guess it's these kids or something. I don't even know if he has kids. I don't know who owns Prince's uh, music. Who knows? You know, when I was young, or when we were young, Prince people were the, like, art, like the people that played music and were not cooler, but, like, you had the Michael Jackson people like me and my friends. We all were Michael Jackson people. Like, we literally had the Michael Jackson tapes where we tried to do the moonwalk. It was and very, them. like, commercialized. Yeah, we were. I was always commercial. I, wa I watched WWF wrestling. I watched. I was a Michael Jackson fan. I did not like Prince. My sister liked Prince, and my buddy Pete Nolan. He liked Prince. He passed away. Yeah. He was like a drummer, and he was he like I never even knew Dr Prince was a good guitarist. Well, yeah, because when you're a kid, you don't appreciate stuff like that. And we're from we're '80s kids, so um, like we grew up. As children in totally the totally fake, like so rocky. everything was very commercialized yeah, for us. Yeah. That's when commercials got real big, like you know what I mean. So that's how we kind of grew up. Whatever was pushed to us, yeah. I feel like on the commercials. Yeah, I used to think I was original though. Like I'd be like, yeah, we're not. You know, I remember the kids in school that watched it, w NWA wrestling. There was WWF and NWA, yeah. uh, the Northeast side. A lot of people from the South they don't even know about that. They they watched like the. The uh, Texas Tornado, you know, that family, the Ericsons, like they were real big in the South. They have regions in wrestling, but I was a totally like, you know, the Spectrum on uh, Saturday wrestling, watch WWF, all that. Then again, Michael Jackson, what else did we do that was bandwagon? Just I don't basic. know, but like we're so commercialized that we were just talking about this to a customer the other day. Um, who does anyone watching, will you sit on YouTube and watch um, just whole sets of old commercials? I love that. Like, how fun purpose. is that? Yeah. But that that's weird. Our parents would never do that. No. Because we grew up, like, I, you know all the songs to the commercials. Yeah. 
Like it's like nostalgic, which 80s, is weird. 80s Christmas commercials. Oh best, yes. Right. I mean uh Kitty City commercial. Kitty City, I love Kitty City. Well I like two that's no, I like Kitty City more. Open up Toys all Ross. the Christmas commercials oh, for Kitty Christmas. Kitty City, yes, I met, I love Kitty City. Love that. So Toys R Us was like down. Toys R Us came around after, right? Yes. And then shut Kitty City down. I know. Kitty we used City. to love when where we lived in uh, Northeast Philly. We yeah. had a Kitty City yeah. right across the parking lot from a Toys R Us. Yeah. So you could hit both. Like you went to like to go to one, and you're like. Come on, please. Can't we just go to Kitty City, too? We would always go to Kitty City first. Yeah. First Kitty City. I don't know why. We, always did Kitty we just City. went to Kitty City first, and then Toys R Us. Yeah. So, I like Kitty City better. I remember Kitty City closed down. But, I do, too. I remember I have one, one weird memory. I remember walking through Kitty City, and they had that doll aisle where it was like, they would go over top of you, and like all the crazy big dolls that nobody should ever own. Like a big snake that was a mile yes, long. Yes, remember that? They'd have yeah. like boardwalk... Uh, Stuff there. They did. Oh, they did. Man. And it was funny, like Toys R Us. I remember my mom didn't want to take us to Toys R Us and then when Toys R Us shut down Kitty City. I remember one of the last things we bought at Kitty City was some kind of like we put it on a sidewalk too, like a, my neighborhood. It was so weird. And it was like a it was like a thing that would just whack throw like water all around. Yes. And we like ran. Imagine through, having like, a sign. Yeah. It's like golden. If you had like a sign Kitty or one City of the sign. like the yeah. paper things they hang up in the store for like the what aisles. What was the symbol for Kitty City? Wasn't it a kangaroo? Yeah, was the that kangaroos. Us? And remember the um, commercial? Here's what um, uh, the commercial. It would be um, a frown because turn that frown upside down and the kangaroo would jump on the frown. and Because Lionel the Kitty City turns that frown upside down. down. Lionel Kitty City. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be a Toys, Toys R Us kid. kid. Oh, that's Toys R Us. Toys. Oh my God, no. That's Toys R Us. Oh my god, that was Toys R Us. That sucks. Yeah, and you got all the fired up. We're still finishing up with the game. <laughs> you don't remember? War, war from, from, well, you don't remember that? I do remember. War yes. games, war toys, oh But boy. that was Toys R Us. What was the kid? City had a girl, commercial. Was, baby, if I Oh yeah, one be a Toys R Us kid. Man, I don't like Kitty City made. Look it up. I think they just went with turn it. Let's look it up and get it together, and we'll sing yeah, it. Yeah, and again. then the frown goes back <laughs> when your parents are like, "Yeah, we just walk through." My mom would be like, "Yo, we're just gonna walk through Kitty City. We have no money. There's no money to buy anything. We're well, just going through." That's fun sometimes, just to walk through. Yeah, you run around, play with yeah. the toys, and. I remember, I remember like looking I don't remember at stuff always getting like, stuff. I remember not only wanting stuff. We just wanted yeah, to go through, going go. through this, just going through the store. Sometimes it's just as fun because you'll just ride random bikes and remember yeah, that, yeah, yeah, right. and just start bouncing balls around. Yeah, remember the, the big? Uh, I remember yes. the big cages with the balls. And you had to like yeah, pop them up. Out. Yeah, it was fun. You know, it's funny. I never owned one of them giant balls, but I always I don't think I did either. Store. Yeah, I would too. I don't think we ever got them. No. No. All right, guys. What else do we got? We just went nuts. <laughs> Toys R Us nuts. We want to go to Toys R Us. Oh, okay, we... guys, remember that bus that flipped in Skagway? Yeah. Well, I heard uh, that the bus driver had a medical emergency. So it wasn't like uh, an under the influence thing or like, uh, not that I thought it was, I'm just saying it wasn't. Um, okay, I'll take, I'll take, oh, where's the sailboat? Take it wasn't um, just like reckless driving. He oh, had a medical God, issue, yeah. so yeah. something happened, which is terrible. That's scary, but man. Nobody, no that. one died in this accident, so thank God. Imagine you look over and the driver's convulsing or something like oh. that. You're like, ah, what do you, what do, you do? Like, oh. do you get on the ground and hit the brake? Or, like, what? grab the guy, open the door, kick him out? And you know what I get scared of? Over? If someone tried to do that in the whole panic of going nuts, you hit the uh, gas instead. Oh, my God. Well, what if he did? Yeah, oh like, what if God. the dude that had the uh, medical emergency did that? I That's crazy. Know. Guys, if you ever feeling like a medical emergency coming on even a little bit, you gotta like stop the car and pull over. Yeah. Especially when you got twenty five people aboard. Yeah, if you're even got like the sweats going, just <laughs> Yeah, like something just, right just I gotta pull over here. Yes. Well maybe it happened sudden. Who knows? I'm sure. Yeah. But anyway, what else do we got, guys? Um okay, Harland wait, Harland and Welf or Wolf. <laughs> I don't know. Is a Belfast shipyard that built the Titanic. Wow. It's filing bankruptcy. It's in the trouble, yes. Um, if they're failing to secure new funding, so maybe they'll get bailed out of it somehow, but they are filing bankruptcy. And they're the ones still working on that Villa V. No, they're, they're like, we can't work on the ship anymore. We have to file bankruptcy. It's just too much. Yeah, yeah. It's like that Villa V Odyssey? Wait. They're the ones working on it. 
Wait a minute. And they want to file bankruptcy. <laughs> so that bill will be done. No, not yet. Not yet. You know, say if they go bankrupt, they don't have to pay any other people back their money. Probably. That's wrong. See, that's where the, the courts have to get involved. Like, well, that's not the story, though. The, the story is just that they're filing bankruptcy. They, they didn't even, like, I didn't hear, like, it's like a connection. That, I don't know, but that is that isn't good. Are they still doing the work on that? Bill I guess they're it currently done? doing it. Wow. Oh so maybe God. they're going to try to, like, run out on that situation. Wow. What do you guys we think? We kind of called that, didn't we? I don't know. Something had to be wrong there. That Something never seemed weird. like this. It's like a weird... Yeah, yeah very weird. The Villa V is doomed. The Villa V is doomed. Yes. Well, guys, we're going to go. We're going to get some breakfast. We're going to go enjoy our day in Cozumel. That's right. We will talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. All right.